those French sure know how to be interesting. <laughs> Hey guys, this is my review for episode 2 of Versailles. Uh, this is a show that's being produ uh, distributed by Ovation TV out here in North America, and I was asked by them to review it. And this is a pretty big moment for me, so I'm really happy to watch these episodes and just talk about them, because it's a very interesting piece of history. It's about Louis XIV and the creation of Versailles, and possibly one of the most... In He's basically one of the, the most important kings of France of all time. The last episode, I pointed out how the show, while it is a little slow, has amazing cinematography, some very amazing costume design, and the characters are very, they're dramatic, but they're true to words. Just basically like what the Tudors were, Downton Abbey, a little bit more intense than Downton Abbey, definitely for be sure. This episode starts off with the unwanted child of King Louis, who turned out to be Louis-Marie Therese, the black nun of Moray. And right when I saw her, I was like, oh yeah, I remember reading about that in, high, in uh, my history classes. And that's what I said, like, a lot, this show may be dramatic, but it does follow to a point, uh, basically, everything that happened between King Louis, between what happened to him, to his advisors, to everyone who was within his court. And this episode talked about two things, basically what was done with uh, the child and as well as Louis sort of inner conflict with his brother and his brother's a very interesting character too Because he's basically everything that shouldn't be almost at the time Well, he's openly gay he dresses as a woman and at one point someone makes fun of him and he stabs him <laughs> It's a little bit over dramatic of the times, but it, at the same time these people were These people have put themselves through really weird constraints the whole idea of being uh, true to one another yet everyone was sexually rampant with each other it's a very interesting take on this period again the cinematography is very good again the characters very well done the actor playing King Louis he's got this very good piercing stare and he's really good with being able to bring out uh, you kind of like him but at the same time you don't and that's one something I like is that you're still trying to find your side of what you think of this guy Again, there was a few issues with this episode, more so narrative-wise, his advisor, his, his trusted butler, all of a sudden just collapses, and then they just move on from that. They don't even talk about why he collapsed. Um, and then there's other parts too, there's this gentleman who he, I have a feeling is affiliated with Spanish with uh, Spanish court, because this is the beginning of war with Spain, and his brother, is he's allowing his brother to go off and fight for him. This man is stripped of everything. And it, again, it comes kind of suddenly. Otherwise, the episode is still very good. The music done by Noala, Nala, if I'm correct, uh, is very unique. It's a very interesting sort of futuristic present, futuristic or present day sort of electronic music mixed with in this sort of historic piece. So it's a very odd mix, but it does work. In the end, I am enjoying this show as well. It is a slow burn, but just the attention to detail, the characters, and just seeing what happens with them is all very intriguing, and I'm looking forward to what, reviewing episode 3. So make sure to watch this show on Ovation TV at 10 p.m. Eastern Pacific, or Pacific Time, or you can check it out on the website, which I have put in the description below. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. You are the king of our future. He's Versailles, nothing else. He's forgotten who built this country. They mean to kill me. Let them come. Let them try. We do whatever it takes to survive. The building of Versailles must be stopped. Don't miss an all-new episode of Versailles, Saturday at 10, only on Ovation.